it is uh, March the 5th, 2014. I have a couple of new toys here that I think you might enjoy. I picked up this uh, Fluke 8520A digital multimeter. Oh, just a few months back, maybe six months back. I picked up two of them at a um, uh, at a thrift shop in a little town, oh, a couple hundred miles here from El Paso. In uh, I remember it was close to Marfa, Marfa, Texas. Anyway, it was uh, I got two of them for twenty-five dollars. One of them did not work, and this one works beautiful. 8520A digital multimeter by Fluke. I see them on eBay. The only thing I'm going to demonstrate on this one, because everything on it works miraculously well, is this four-wire uh, ohmmeter. A four-wire ohmmeter uses a source voltage right here, and this is what measures the actual resistance and uh, the, uh, the the types of cables that are used on a four-wire system are sometimes known as Kelvin probes. And what I'm using here is these little probes right here. See, this wire and this wire are separate. They're not connected together internally. So the tips are separate. The tips are separate here too. Uh, what you do is you apply the voltage across the resistor and then you measure uh, across the resistor so that you don't have, and, and it eliminates the resistance in these wires. Well, right here I have a 1.06 ohm resistor. It's normally a 1 ohm 5%. I've measured it carefully on a uh, precision milliohmmeter, 1.06. And with this little meter, without any hoopla and calibration, it measures 1.03 that's what you'd round that up to so one measures 1.06 one measures 1.03 not bad for not having to do the uh, all of the nonsense of, of the uh, of the milliamp meter uh, of the uh, milliohm meter I have to go through here's 1.125 measures 1.1 you'd round that up to a 2, 1.12 and then you can go from there instantly over here's my what I call my calibration class resistors I don't know if you can read that uh, here is a 1 mega ohm 0.1% and if we clip it across there that's a 1 mega ohm 0.1% measures 1 million and 290 or whatever 200 1 million 200 okay and here's one right here here's a 383 ohm 0.1 percent and it measures 383 ohm measures that's about as close to 383 as you can get huh and you don't have to uh, you don't have to change any scales actually a just a just a beautiful meter really pleased with it for uh, the price two of them for 25 bucks one, one of them was trash and this one is the one that worked this one has a uh, US Air Force sticker on it right there I don't know if you can read all that I try to preserve the stickers for historical purposes if no other reason and what I got in today I have been needing a um, a signal generator that would scan for a long time well this thing's this is a WaveTech 2001. It wasn't made in 2001, I don't think. I think it was made by, probably back in the 80s. The only thing that's missing is that little knob right there, and I have some of those from my Tektronix scopes. You know, one of those. I've got it scanning right now at 1.1 gigahertz. That's what the spectrum analyzer is. The way this thing works, <coughs> excuse me, is you put the start frequency right here, this green dot on the green line. I've got it in uh, band 3, which is a, right now would be 1.1 gig. It's, it's actually quite accurate for a slide rule type scale. And then the stop frequency is actually a band width. It's, I've got it set to 100 megahertz. Well, I didn't know when I first hooked it up what that meant, but 100 megahertz means 100 megahertz total, so it means 50 megahertz below and 50 megahertz above the center frequency 
and then you as you can see I'm scanning at uh, 20 megahertz per division so it's going to change right there back over to there it's great it works down at HF I'm not going to try to go through all of the detail because I'm I'm a one-man band here with a camera in the right hand it's hard to do all this stuff but this thing works actually very very pleased with it the uh, output attenuation is reasonably accurate um, I got no issues with it at all so the WaveTech 2001 is uh, scans all the way down I have uh, gone down to the HF range set it at 20 megahertz scan 10 megahertz that means it would scan from 15 to 25 whatever I mean that's definitely down at its very very lowest end it's just wow up at VHF and UHF so there you go thing works if you put it in CW it, it's a it's a center frequency it's whatever you've got the start frequency set to you can see me moving it around right there as, as I move uh, that knob but I set it right on 1100 and then I put it back in Delta F and anyway, just playing with the uh, the controls. So there, there's a couple of uh, neat little instruments right there. I think I paid 180 bucks for this, 179.95 or whatever. So uh, I paid, I guess, full price for that. But I'm, I'm actually quite pleased with it. Hope you enjoy.